8 Astonishing things that have washed up on beaches Ducks, turtles, and frogs Back in 1992, several boxes filled with nearly 28,000 rubber ducks and other assorted bath toys fell off a ship during a terrible storm in the East and Pacific Ocean. More than 25 years later, the yellow plastic ducks, blue turtles, and green frogs have traveled halfway around the globe and continued to wash up on beaches. Some have even traveled nearly 17,000 miles and have been frozen in the Arctic ice pack. In 2003, for at least six months, a $100 savings bond reward was declared by the toy company for the return of any lost ducks. Doritos Every snack lover's dream came true in 2006 when a ship carrying four containers of Doritos lost them to sea just off the coast of Virginia. One of the containers washed ashore on a North Carolina beach with several cases of Doritos still intact. Some of the cases were drenched, but most were still sealed and in good shape. Trash to Treasure The infamous Glass Beach in California used to be the city's landfill dump site. It was used between 1906 to 1967 to dispose of batteries, bottles, cans and various other appliances. Back then, it was common practice for trash to be pushed over the cliff and right into the ocean. As years passed, Mother Nature responded by coughing up several stunning pieces of colorful glass onto the shore. It's difficult to believe that these were once unsafe pieces of glass. Now, as the waves roll onto the shore, it constantly brings up pieces of glass and replenishes this beach with its treasure. Giant Lego Man the open seas surrounding the Netherlands are a popular sailing channel for container ships. They are also known to have rather treacherous open sea weather across the world. This causes huge waves that rock the ships, causing them to lose a significant portion of their load. This certainly happened to be the case when a massive 100-pound Lego man washed ashore in 2007 in the Netherlands. It was the first official sighting of a giant Lego man, and there have been several others all over the world since then. Going Bananas? The residents of Terschelling Island in the Netherlands are no strangers to seeing odd things washing ashore. From tennis shoes to toys, the things that wash ashore become a real draw for several treasure hunting residents. Adding to this strange mix in 2007, thousands of bananas had lined at least a half-mile stretch on the beach. It was reported that a storm had rocked a ship causing six containers to fall off, and one burst wide open. Locals suggested that the bananas be sent to the nearby zoos. Vintage Weapon In 2010, tides had dropped to an exceptionally low level at Dundee Beach in Australia. A dad and his 10-year-old son took advantage of this and walked quite far out from the shore. They spotted a gun barrel sticking right out of the mud and immediately dug it out. After a good amount of research, the two determined that it was a 16th century vintage Portuguese swivel gun that was used on ships as anti-personnel weapons. They also discovered that a similar item had sold for approximately $12,000 in Britain, so they wanted to try and sell it off to a museum. There certainly isn't a single historian in the world who wouldn't want to grab this. Harley Davidson that lost its way. When tsunamis hit, the water travels quite far inland and reaches incredibly high levels. On its way inland, it can cause plenty of damage, but on its way out, it causes just as much destruction. It will also drag out anything in its path on the way out into the deep sea. This is what happened after the 2011 tsunami in Japan when a Harley Davidson motorcycle washed ashore in Canada. A grand gesture indeed. In 2011, in the middle of Biscayne Bay in Florida, a baby grand piano appeared. It turned out that a 16-year-old resident of Miami had put the burnt piano on the sandbar in hopes that he would use it for a video to help with his art school admission. Someone noticed the piano and immediately called the news, and within a few hours, it made headlines all over the world. If it were left there, it would have definitely washed ashore when the water levels rose.